64%. Um, he, you know, he, he is Seafalc, so if there's anyone who can get this damage quickly tacked on, um, I, I would I would guess that it's him. As we're seeing right now, oh, I wanted a down air right there. That no, he, did you huge. see? Did you come back to try and two frame with the down air? Yeah. That's terrifying, especially when you're playing tel uh, Palutena or any other teleporting character. They're pretty vulnerable when they have to teleport to ledge. They've got a full three frames of vulnerability there. Uh, but John got a little bit lucky there, and he's back in the driver's seat. Oh my god, a great read on the get up as well. He hasn't taken too much damage despite all that pressure from him, but just using some ledge cancels to just kind of mix up what he's doing in this neutral with the uh, with his invincibility frames. Okay, he was he went for that down air two frame, but he still has him trapped on the ledge here. Um, John SSB really, really doing a good job of holding on to this lead and just not letting Hippo just breathe. You know, Seafalk kind of likes some room to move around and get things going, and John SSB has been all over him this game. Yeah, and John is playing pretty conservatively too. There's a lot of places where he can extend and look for more hits on his combos, but he'll just back off and wait for these options from Hippo Just because he's consistently punishing them. Oh, a little bit of a missed input there from Hippo Just as he has to recover, but it does not matter. Oh, an interesting couple whiffs there as they walk right through each other. John is in a dangerous spot here on this stock with a lot of percentage. Uh, the reverse uh, up B is going to catch him. Looks like Hippo Just is looking for a spike. Oh, that. Down tilt is what he goes for here. He's going to get uh, just pummels here. He just needs the yeah. damage. I mean, a forward throw is not going to kill unless it's like at ledge. Oh. oh, that was a weak Falcon kick. That's unfortunate. That could have taken the stock. Oh, he's looking for the backer. He doesn't get it here. Yeah. John going with the up airs. These are deadly, and the explosive flame will also kill if it pokes through the shield at all at this point. Both players looking for something. Yes! Okay, okay, we've got a one stock game. Ooh, but this is, I mean, of course the damage is so much in John's favor. He's got a lot of moves that are going to start getting into kill all range in just a couple percents. Here, uh, even an up throw just from any point in the stage is going to kill here really soon, especially yeah. as we get close to 160%. That's kind of that magic number, or at least oh. in the whereabouts. But Hippo Dress is finally finding those ins. He's got the rage as well, so it might allow for a little bit of an earlier kill if he can yeah, find it, air. but the back air is a bad thing to trade with. Yeah. That, that was right on the verge of getting a little bit scary for Hippo Just, or excuse me, for John SSB, um, solely because if he had gotten another string or, or another combo starter, um, you know, that's that's the in that you need, at least mentally, um, for your opponent to be like, oh, okay, okay, like, this, oh, yeah. he's, he's got something going here. Well, I gotta be and careful. like we said, Hippo Just does so much with momentum. He yeah. gets scary once he, he gets going. So I would, I, I've seen him do crazier things than bring back that much of a deficit. Yeah, yeah, and so that's, uh, it's good on, it's a testament to John SSB's uh, mentality, at least in that game, um, to, to sort of be able to, to buckle down and, and not let that happen. Because um, it's a scary thing uh, as a, against a Seafalc, um, specifically Hippo Just Seafalc. Yeah. All right, staying the same characters, no surprise there. Um, Going to Battlefield, though, this is interesting. I feel like this stage is fantastic for Palutena. Um, yeah, but it's going to allow for, I mean, well, for both of them. Oh, man. Yeah, John will have the ability to do a lot of poking on those platforms from below, but some combo extension opportunities do open up for Hippo Just here, and that's something he was struggling with a little bit. But the main thing is going to be just getting in. Deep win for that down air. Okay, he gets the grab. John going to DI that out. Whoa, Hippo just movement has leveled up with these platforms. He's doing a great job of using them to wave dash and dropping through them. There's a lot more inputs here at this point. He's going to be stuck up on top of the platform for a second here. Bad place to be against a Palutena, but he's feeling a lot better already. Yeah, I didn't realize that, that this stage might also just be a comfort pick. You know, some, yeah, the two frame. Yeah, I, uh, And it killed yeah, on a I down thought. till at like, was that 86%? Yeah, he was below That's nasty sure. early. Um, but yeah, we're, we're definitely seeing Hippo move around much more comfortably on this stage. Um, Ooh, oh, wow. and he's gonna call John out for going low. John's getting yeah. a little cheeky off of uh, the confidence he has from game one. Oh, yeah, the punish is just missed though. Okay, gets the up air. Man, I want to see a, a couple more confirms from Hippo. Just, I feel like I'm not seeing. Um, we we saw some ledge cancels earlier from John SSB on the platforms, and we yeah. saw one with the the sire, the down B from Hippo. Just, and it gave him a great punish here. Oh my God, John's getting hit by that again. You can't be doing that. That should be a, a, an edge guard there, but um, 
know, unfortunately, it's, it's one that, that we've seen drop. Well, now I'm, I'm going to be scared for John every time he's coming back to, to platform at this point with those two frames coming up. It's going to kill at this low of a percent. Yeah, that, that is scary. Well, Hippo just well ahead. The dash attack is a strong hit, but still not quite enough to kill. 160%, another down, another down tilt. We'll get the row. kill. Maybe Hippo just needs to hit that down tilt a little yeah. more often. I, I'm, I'm surprised. I don't usually see that option, but it's it's working out real well for Hippo Just. You have to say, it must, might be one of the least seen Captain Falcon moves for me to have seen, anyways. Yeah. Oh, no, that's that's a little more nair than that Ooh. needed to be for Hippo Just to get hit Ooh. by. And the backer keeps oh. going. John's looking for opportunity to spike and even two frame with the down till he's thrown out the moves. He's really faced that challenge of Hippo Just kind of leveling up in this game. Man, that. That string was so nice from John, but unfortunately he wasn't able to get the kill, and now Hippo just is back, um, potentially tacking on more damage as extra credit. Uh, you know, maybe is this uh, is this the Sonic music going right now? Maybe that's what sped up both of these two. I love that. It's, it's the subconscious conditioning of Sonic music. Oh, beautiful call out there. John has stopped using the explosive flames for a while yeah. now, and this one hits his mark perfectly. He's going to use the teleport cancel to keep some space away while Hippo just has the invincibility. A nice application of that tech. All right, Hippo just, he's got a, he's got a nice lead this game, but I mean, John, John needs a down throw here to get things started, or even a nair out of shield. Um, and, and it could potentially lead to a stock. Well, wow. Hippo just is catching all of his options, though, 150%. Just about anything will do it. He's definitely looking for that down tilt again, but he's going to get grabbed out of it. John needs something cheeky here to catch up very quickly. He's not exactly the most com uh, comeback intensive character here on Palutena. He's going to hit, hit by another up air. Still not killing, but he's in a compromised position still. Yeah, unfortunately for John, he needs a little bit more percent on Hippo just for, a, okay, and that'll do it probably, for a Gimp to be uh, on board yep. uh, solely because back air isn't really going to lead to much at 0%. Um, oh, okay, okay, the dash <laughs> the dash attack miss is a really strong move, but so does the down B from Hippo just. He's looking for the down tilt once again, and John is in yeah. a terrible position there getting up from ledge. Dying to the up B, I think he broached 200% there at the end with that final I hit. He, he did to stay on for a really long time. Yeah, no, he, he held on as, as long as he could. Um, and you know, kind of how we saw game one where it starts to get scary for that for that person in the lead. Um, you know, it's a, it's a mentality thing. Um, but both players, you know, were able to hold on to their lead in both game one and game two. So it'll be interesting to see how game three goes. Will we continue this trend of, of you know, whoever's in the lead just being able to hold on, even though it might be last stock with that, that player in second? Uh, yeah, the, the comebacks momentum. have been just inches away both yeah. games. Yeah, it, it seems entirely possible, which really makes me think that this set could go the distance. We could see a game five here. Um, not really a controversial opinion after both players have already won one game, oh, yeah. I know, but... No, uh, we, we got a match on our hands here. Yeah, yeah I, I look forward to it. And uh, quite justifiably so. Again, this is a top eight match here uh, for 66 Games High School Bracket on day one. So the pressure is definitely on. It's going to be dicey. They have to fight for a chance to get to top eight, whoever loses this uh, back in loser's bracket where there's just no second try after that. Yeah. Hold on to this as, as long as you can. Um, and we're, we're seeing that right back here at Battlefield for Game 3. All right. Yeah, John definitely likes the pick of uh, Battlefield as well, but it will just interestingly comfortable with it as well. So we'll probably be seeing it quite a bit more as uh, the match continues. They're throwing back uh, these moves back and forth. Throwing out that up smash is not as bad of an option as it might seem if you're not too familiar with Captain Falcon. It's a really safe move, very little end lag. Man, he keeps getting caught with that up B, and, and I feel like uh, he's so close to getting the kill if he can if he can get these runoff nares to connect just a little bit earlier, just start a, a tad earlier, and, and that'll be a stock. Mm. John getting ahead here. A nice grab to take the stage back. Uh, and they're just not quite finding the, these big uh, things that they need to get a kill at this kind of percentage. They're tiptoeing around each other. Ooh, great wow. call out from Hippo just. I've seen him do some crazy call outs of ledge cancels, and I, you don't see that from many players. Yeah, and definitely no. not at this level of play. Like, you have to get to, like, uh, a more really and more nationally level. recognized yeah players before you see people consciously punish uh, ledge uh, cancels. Which is a, a huge thing to be able to do because, you know, so many teleport characters are able to do it. 
that if you can call it out reliably, that's a huge leg up against your competition. And now Hippo just takes the first stock. He is at kill percent here, um, but we'll see how much extra damage he can get on John SSB. Ooh, this is going to start out with John SSB. Uh, whiffing that forward tilt, it's a really high committal option on like most uh, tilt attacks. It's going to have him taking a lot of damage and an SD on stock 2 is going to hurt a lot especially with Hippo just still on all three stocks remaining if he can make this last stock count he might just run away with game 3 and that hurts so bad to see um, you, you just know that you know that, that was a miss input but luckily it is best of uh, 5 so if he does lose this game because of that SD uh, he'll still have another shot to take the set yeah, John has a lot to prove here. I know that that definitely oh, hurts. You can see that look on his face yeah, he when he realized what that. happened. Oh, he's finally actually going to get hit by that multi-jab on ledge. He's had the perfect shielding for that every time until now. He might be a little bit flustered in the face of that last loss, but he's going to get the nair options that he wants, hitting all three of them. Uh, not quite with all the hits, but it gets a lot of percentage here and sets him back up into neutral situation, which is pretty favorable for him. He's got a little more options in neutral. Wow, I'm surprised that didn't kill. That was probably a percent away from killing. Hippo just is feeling good, looking for yeah. that ledge trump to look for the kill. He's just fishing for these kill confirms, and there's a lot of them that he has uh, in his toolbox. His ledge traps this game have been really nice, um, just not letting him get back on stage mm. without getting hit a couple times. That was, that was uh, an early jump the DI stops because uh, yeah. John jumped a little bit early. He had a big hill to climb to win that game, though. It's not, not the worst of uh, deaths, but I, I know right now he's thinking he didn't have to lose stock two, and no, he didn't yeah. really have to lose stock three there, even if it was an ill-fated game. This puts Hippo Just in the lead 2-1 and puts him on match point. This yeah. game could send Hippo Just into top eight, assuredly on winner's side. That, that SD is, is tough to take mentally. Um, you know, you, you don't want to say that that's the reason why you lost game two, but it definitely was a factor. And I, I think you need to recognize that, move on, and be like, okay, new game, new John. Um, so hopefully we'll see that here. Hopefully yeah, we'll new game, new John, back. and new map. John going for a small battlefield this time. Again, the platforms are going to be advantageous for him in this positioning. There isn't going to be the top one, though, which has been netting some earlier kills for Hippo Just. So uh, it's a nice move on John to recognize that and go with a new map. Just make sure you're mixing something up so you don't lose three in a row on the same map. Yeah, John looking, uh, looking good here. Hippo just with that, that oh. upbeat is surprisingly hard to punish. He has a, he has a so good, much DI on it. Yeah, he has a great amount of aerial drift after it, um, which makes it. Oh hard. my God, Hippo! He was ready. He, he was. He's been looking for it all match. Yeah, he was ready for that. You could tell. <laughs> looking for the side beat wow. to side beat. Hippo just getting bold here, sitting on match point. Oh my God! And John gets hit by the upbeat again. This is the third time in two games that he's been hit by that. Hippo just really feeling bold, willing to throw out a falcon punch. Yeah. He's almost going to die for it to an explosive flame since he's been there, and he does die to the back air. Hippo uh, just getting a little too bold, and John closing it up quite a bit. All right, now he's got the Nair train going. That's, um, I don't, I don't know what the, you, you DI that out, right? Like, you have to. Yeah. I don't, it looked like he was DIing in there. I don't know. If I think, wrong. uh, as long as John follows DI correctly, he's guaranteed the first two. Oh, okay. So uh, the, the third one is the more interesting one. It's uh, pretty common that they're going to hit the last hitbox, the more important hitbox, the one that's actually going to give uh, end frames to or hit stun. Yeah. Uh, so we, we see that more commonly from John, where Hippo just is able to avoid all of the damage from the third one except for the last hitbox. Uh, John has taken a lot of damage here. He's definitely yeah. falling behind on this stock. And a back here secures it from the other side of the stage for that, Hippo Just. That was three ledge traps in a row that led to that kill, two of which were the uppy out of shield to catch hip, uh, John getting up from ledge and shielding. Um, he's got to switch up his ledge option a little bit there. Mm, the calculated plays that I'm so used to seeing from John are starting to, to falter here. He's a little bit, uh, I, I, I don't know, I think it's that last game maybe doing his mental in a little bit, especially in the face of two losses in a back against Hippo Just. And Hippo Just, once he's got the momentum going mentally, he kind of goes bonkers. Yeah. Oh, looks for that back air. Yeah, that's what John needs at this point. I love that cheeky option. Yeah. If he can land one of those, oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, we've seen that. We've seen that one before. Oh, yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I've seen that. I've been around the block. I've seen it. Oh, the first time I saw Hippo Just... No, that was gonna stick with me. I'm gonna think about that like every time I see a Captain Falcon yeah. from now on. I'll be like, he, 